Only six times in NFL history has a quarterback thrown 10 touchdown passes in the first three games. Drew Brees needs just one to do that here in week three. Hey, how are you folks? It's going to get it. Jason Orwitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. We just got to figure out what quarter he's going to yes, get that in here first. on the NFL previews presented by Tyson. Any Tizers. Pat, you look at Drew yes. Brees and you look at the Saints offense. It's been explosive. 45 points and then 48 points in the two games respectively, leading the NFL obviously in, in points per game. What can the Bills do to try and stop the Saints, the offense? Well, they can rope it out the defense and get soft and keep these receivers in front of them and stop that vertical attack that's so brutal, especially Colson out of the slot. But when you do that, you surrender the run, and they've become a very good run team. Last year, they were ranked 28th as a running team. They're eighth right now. They're well over 100 yards a game. And do you want to lose that way? A lot of guys would say, well, that slows down the offense. But, you know, they'll kill you with the run, too. They got so much going on, and you can't sack Breeze. The guy's throwing a touchdown every seven and a half attempts. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Scary. But, yeah, it's. I'd say pretty impressive is an understatement. But you talked about the running game, Pat. They've been doing it with what was the third string running back because as uh, Bush is out there on the slot, and you got and you got Mike Bell, who now is yeah, hurt. Pierre Pierre's Thomas still, yeah. is still hurt a little bit. Hamilton, a guy. I mean, can you keep doing this? Is this team good enough to just keep doing this with anybody? I think they can. I don't want to minimize what it takes to be a good running back in the NFL, but they're terrific up front in the line. Jahari Evans and the kids inside, they're very good run blockers inside. They welcome the opportunity to run. And the way they're doing it now, if you watch them on tape, they get a hat on a hat. There's no extra defender in the box that can go make the tackle on the running game. We saw Reggie Bush last week cut back and there was no one there and he was out the gate for a touchdown so those are the kind of things that are, are problematic and you're never going to try to stop the run first when you play against Breeze. Uh, meanwhile for the Buffalo offense uh, you got to be a little bit more impressed here with what they've been able yeah. to do. Trent Edwards is the fifth highest ra uh, passer rating so far in the NFL and again I understand it's just through two games but this team has looked fairly impressive, and they're that close to being 2-0 and right now. Yeah, here's the problem, though, and I agree with everything you said about Trent, but when you really study these guys, they're up against the Saints. What do the Saints do? The Saints put 13 points on the board in the first quarter. They come back and give you nine points or so in the second quarter. They're right around 20, 21 points when it comes halftime, maybe a little more than that. They force you out of your game, so Trent Edwards is going to have to throw the ball more than he'd like to. We've seen a nice running game from Fred, and they don't even have Marshawn yet, but the problem is the Saints secondary. Forget trying to get more pass rush and blitz people. They have six interceptions. When you have six interceptions, you're giving the ball back to Breeze three times a game. You're going to get beat bad. Yeah, and the quarterbacks, three of those on Matt Stafford, three of those on Kevin Cobb. Trent Edwards has had interception problems Thank you. in the past. What kind of matchup problem does T.O. present against the Saints? And I think T.O. right now hasn't demonstrated to anybody that you have to worry about. Now, he's respected, but they're going to play their coverages. There's no longer role to T.O. I think I don't think that's happening here. You might roll to uh, Lee Evans occasionally, and we can take some shots to keep you know, him from the vertical yep. stuff, and you give a touchdown to T.O. as the game goes on, but it won't be enough scoring to stay up with the Saints. Uh, Fred Jackson's the other guy you got to stop. As you pointed out, he's been very good so right. far for Buffalo, and Marshawn Lynch this is the last week of his three games to it is a 4.05 p.m. Eastern kick. Pat, who you like, Buffalo or New Orleans? I like New Orleans, and that 10 touchdown thing is going away. It's going to be about 12 or 13 in three games. I like those guys a lot, and they, I love the way they're playing defense. They're not taking a lot of risk, and they're able to slow down the running game. Giving up a lot of yards. That doesn't matter. That's rope-a-dope, and they're getting those interceptions. So Darren Sharp has made a huge difference in yep. getting everyone lined up and playing the right Malcolm way. Malcolm Jenkins has made some good plays, too. The oh, he's a nice matchup player. He's made some good plays so far as well. All right, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson. Any Tizer's the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.